just walking home in Central Park right now. I went to a bar class tonight. I went to somewhere called Pure Bar and I was quivering. I'm definitely going to be sore, but it was so nice to be in person and working out in person and having like human interaction, which is so good. And the weather is gorgeous out right now. Like this is incredible, I'm just so happy. Hey guys, I just got some packages in the mail and I was like, why not just turn the camera on and share with you guys? Yes, I wear this sweatshirt in every vlog. I have two of them because I'm obsessed with it. It's from H&M and when I love something, I just wear the heck out of it. Gray is like the best. I swear it's like cozier than any other color. Fun things, actually, before we get started, I got this soft, cozy teddy bear blanket. That's from Target. Let me get some scissors. So, I have a problem. I was the type of person that always wore big t-shirts to bed, but as of recently, I've been buying pajama sets and it honestly is a game changer. I feel like my life is so much more put together when I'm wearing pajama sets that match. I got these. Oh, wait a minute. So I actually ordered two sets. I ordered one from Amazon and one from Target. These are from Amazon and they're silk. And I don't really have any experience with silk pajamas. Okay, so loving the feeling when I first pull it out. This bluish gray color, I'm so into it cute little shorts. I like that they're long. I should probably wash these first, right? Can't wait to try these. It's the brand Cioro. I will link it down below if you guys are in the market for some PJs. I just thought they're really cute, really nice. I'm really impressed, I have to say. Moving right along. That's one thing I've noticed with Amazon. Where did my, my scissors go? Oh. So when something on Amazon says it's back ordered and it won't be received until like two weeks, that was the case with these and it came in like four days as opposed to two with Prime. So don't always follow those dates. I feel like they push those dates out just to be like extremely safe so they don't have like angry customers. So the, the next package I'm really pumped for, it is an Ulta package. So I got these self tanning drops. I've used these before. I've used the Ulta brand ones, but they were buy one, get one half off. So I was like, why not just get two? I just like using these in my moisturizer at nighttime and it just gives you a nice glow. I've never used any other brand besides this one. So I don't really know how this measures up to like those name brands out there, but this does the trick for me and it's cheaper. So love that. I'm set for a while now that I have two bottles. So good thing you know summer is right around the corner and then i got the ordinary i use the ordinary pretty often and i wanted to restock my hyaluronic acid i just feel like it's really good for your skin really hydrating good for those wrinkles and then i got retinol because apparently that helps with skin aging too i'm like really insane lately about skin aging and like making my skin super soft so this had really good reviews it's a Retinol 0.5% in squalane. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure you can't mix this with vitamin C, but I'm gonna have to look into that. I really love the Ordinary's packaging. I just love how simple it looks and it just looks really nice in your cabinet, but this one is a brown bottle. So hopefully I have some nice glass looking skin soon. That's the second time I repurchased the hyaluronic acid, by the way. Okay, next thing I'm super pumped about, which, oh, I bought these lip oils. Apparently they went viral on TikTok. This is just the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. Sweet Rose. I thought this was supposed to be a light pink color, but it's literally clear. And this is like a peach. I'm really confused because they're literally the same color. They're definitely marketed online as colored. So that's, that's interesting. So I guess it's just a matter of the scent. I hope this sweet rose one isn't like too much of a gross 
smell because rose can be really gross sometimes. So these were also buy one get one half off and I was just looking at TikToks of people using them and like before and after and I was like that is the gloss that I want That is like luscious lip wet looking. I feel like I used to use this when I was younger I definitely did it was like the lip smacker brand. Let's try this on. It almost smells like a Barbie doll like that plasticky scent <laughs> Not aggressive, it's not like overbearing, but you can definitely smell it. I like this, I obviously like, I don't have much makeup on right now. I actually don't have a single ounce of makeup on right now, but I think this will look good when I have more makeup on. That seems super hydrating, really into that. And then I got, oh, I should have tried this first. Is this it? That's lame. I wish they gave you like free samples. Anyway, um, lip pencil in nude beige. I'm really bad with picking out lip products because I never know what looks good on me. I never know what looks good with my skin tone. I try to buy nude lip liners and they end up being pink. Let's just try. I'm gonna wipe this off, hold on. We're gonna try this, see how it looks. This is gonna be too light for me, I can tell already, great. This literally looks just like my lip color, great. So I just wasted my money. Love that for me. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's a little darker. The plus side to this nude beige is you can overline your lips, which is good. Luscious. Mmm, so smooth. All right, I look dead today. I told you guys this is all about the doctor's appointments this week. I had an appointment this morning at 9 a.m., had a physical, and then I have a eye doctor appointment today at 5.30. Obviously before I wash these I wanted to try them on don't mind this I had blood work taken today, but wow I love them perfect for summer. I love that they're longer. Oh my gosh I'm definitely getting these in more colors. I think they were like $28 Which I feel like that's pretty good for a set like this because Nordstrom has really expensive pajamas But wow, I obviously tuck it in because I just like that look But I feel like you could even get away with wearing this top with jeans or something. This is what it looks like untucked So cute if you take anything away from this Get these PJs are the best Hey guys, I just got home from my eye doctor appointment and they told me that my eyes got worse. So, you know, I'm just getting all the great medical responses today. I'm gonna have to get contacts, which I kind of knew already. I knew my eyesight was getting bad, but oh my God. Anyways, so while I was out, I went to Walgreens and I was gonna order sushi tonight because I'm just craving that and I think just like after the day I had, I just want something like a good meal, but honestly, I'm just gonna cook what I have at home, like trying to be really good about not ordering food. So I wanted to share with you what I got from Walgreens. So this is so random, but I have been on the search for these things forever and they don't sell them on Amazon other than like a pack of like insane amount, a 10 pack and I don't want that. So this was the last box. I was so excited. I was like, this is meant to be. Hold on. I have to turn my rice down because it's boiling away. Back to my story. I just love them. They're great. So if you haven't had these, Go to your Walgreens and pick them up. 160 calories for one. So I also love that they're pre-packaged. So, oh, my rice is boiling over. This isn't like a haul or anything, but it's just like I was in Walgreens and CVS. My eyes all red because I'm itching it because my allergies are so bad. I got this nail polish, just a bright red. Probably doing that tonight. And then I got this cheek tint, which I saw on TikTok. Shocker. And I wanted to try it out. So should I try it now? I'm just gonna look like a clown today. These things are the hardest to ever get open. So yeah, dinner, I'm making a stir fry to go with like, you know, I'm gonna put some rice vinegar in it and get that same sushi effect, but just a lot of veggies and I'll probably put like an egg in there. I wanna start using more like cream products. Summer is right around the corner. I feel like it looks more natural. I hope this is like a cute little sun-kissed look moment. Oh, this is thicker than I thought, let's see. Up, oh, put way too much. Wow, way too much. Can I like do this on my nose and make it look like I'm a little sunburned? Do I need a beauty blender for this? Okay, that's kind of cute. I don't know how much to use for this, clearly. <laughs> oh boy, wow. That's the look. That's the look we're going for. Okay, I kind of look like 
I feel like that's a little sun-kissed look. I literally am only using the viewfinder, so if this looks psychotic, I'm gonna watch this footage back and be like, better lighting over here. Oh, okay guys, this is pretty good. Maybelline cheek tint. Okay, I really like this. I'm no expert, clearly. I'm putting cheek tint on in my kitchen. Okay, I just finished making dinner. This is jasmine rice. I have veggies. These are cooked in toasted sesame oil. This is zucchini, uh, frozen peas, broccoli, and half an onion. And I just put the jasmine rice on the bottom. All the veggies. I also put in some rice vinegar in the veggies and garlic. And then I made an aioli to go on top, which is just Greek yogurt, sriracha, and lime juice. And this just saved me $25. I also put an egg in there as well. Hey, happy Thursday. Thursday is like my favorite day of the week because it's like the energy is flowing for the weekend. Anyways, I am getting ready. I'm going to my office. I have to print our Austin itinerary. I will show you guys that when it's all printed. I always like to make itineraries when I go away for vacations. It's very detailed. I break it up into like restaurants, I'll show you. Anyways, I love my outfit today and I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm just wearing these earrings from H&M. This chain is from Shein. I'm wearing this t-shirt. This is actually on my Poshmark, but I pulled it out of my Poshmark bag because I'm like, that would actually look really cute with this jacket. So this is from H&M. I'll probably take it off of my Poshmark because I like it. I just think it looks really cute with these black jeans. Good for summer. And then this jacket is from Shein. I'll try to link this stuff below. I know this is probably sold out by now. Sorry. I'm just wearing these jeans. I hauled these in a past vlog. If you want to go check that out from H&M. I've been shopping there so frequently lately. And then I just have these orange mules from Forever 21. I have had these honestly probably for three years now. They've really held on. But this is the outfit going into my office. No one's gonna see me, but gotta look good for ourselves. I think I'm going to Leo's tonight and we're finally gonna make those Mediterranean bowls. So if I end up doing that, I will show you guys. They're amazing. Honestly, it's the best summer meal. It's just the most refreshing, satisfying meal ever. It's also healthy and it has a bunch of veggies, all the good stuff. So I will take you guys along. Happy Thursday. Hey guys, so I'm at Leo's and we're making those Mediterranean kava bowls. I've shared these before, but figured why not do it again because this is a great meal for summertime. So healthy, so great. Let's get into it. I let Leo get all the ingredients for this. <laughs> Look how big this is. Last time I got it, it had bugs on it, remember? Men. <laughs> Mind you, you only need a little bit of romaine, but granted, I like to put a lot of romaine on the bottom instead of rice. I could do half rice, half romaine, but I don't think we really need this much. So we have the rice going over here. I just sliced up some red onion. This is half of a half of a red onion, and I'm gonna add olive oil and red wine vinegar and a little salt and pepper. Let that marinate while I cut up all the other veggies and the chicken. These turn into pickled onions too. They're really, really good. You can actually make these like at all times and just top them on salads and other meals. So right now I'm making tomato and cucumber salad and I like to put it in this plastic container just so that it's readily available and if you have leftovers, you can just store this right in the fridge. You're not dirtying extra dishes.
I like to do oregano, basil, dill weed, garlic salt, parsley, salt and pepper, just like kind of eyeball it. You can probably do like a teaspoon of each. That's just what I do. You can look up Greek seasoning on Pinterest and it'll give you a mixture of all the seasonings that you need to make the chicken taste really good. So I'm just gonna cut this up and saute it up in some olive oil, just a light drizzle in the pan. And I will show you guys when I'm finished. Yeah, you're gonna talk about my paintings in the background? No. Swipe up. So I'll link these paintings down below. Mm -hmm. The key is to really cut the chicken in small pieces. It just makes it so much better. Just cut everything in small pieces especially for the bowls like this. It's just more easy to eat. It's more pleasing to eat. Let me explain to you why. Because you get everything in one bite. That's correct. <laughs> Show them the size that you like to do. No, I'm not showing raw chicken. So I went shopping at H&M before I came here. I was doing returns, but it's always an exchange. So I will share with you guys what I got. Just a couple things. If you're new around here, I actually used to live here. Just a little side note. So I make my own tzatziki with Faye Greek yogurt, normally lemon, but we forgot. So I improvised and I added some of the juice from these banana pepper rings and some salt, pepper, dill, and garlic powder. Gotta add some water to thin it out. Toppings, banana pepper rings, jalapenos. You'll see it all come together. This meal is not for beginners, by the way. You're gonna use a lot of pots and pans, a lot of silverware, but the end result is totally worth it. We're just gonna build these. I will show you guys when we're all finished. What? Oh, jeez. I'm in the weeds. What just happened? It just catapulted. I look over and the spoon is flying through the air. <laughs> Here is the finished product. It looks incredible. So we have the romaine. There's also brown rice under there. There's chicken, the tomato and cucumber salad, the pickled red onions. We have roasted red pepper hummus, garlic hummus, tzatziki drizzled on top, some jalapeno peppers just for some spice. We have banana peppers on here as well, and then feta cheese. So, so good. Pita chips are coming. Then we also top with pita chips just to have some extra crunch on there and just to dip in the hummus, but this is just incredible. It's also super pretty. So if you're ever entertaining, this is a really good meal to have for guests and everyone can build their own bowl, which I love. So this is a good one. If you guys have a Whole Foods, you need to get these pita chips. Look how thick this is. It's honestly the best ever. They're better than those Stacy's pita chips. This brand is honestly incredible. It's salty too, it's, it's amazing. The best pita chips I've ever had. So we put them in a plastic bag, just crunch them up like that and top them. <laughs> so good, that's perfect, thank you. And there is the finished product, amazing. 10 out of 10. Hey guys, just got home. Before I forget, I want to share with you what I got from H&M and TJ Maxx yesterday. Yes, I'm still wearing the same outfit as yesterday, but okay, so I got this tie-dyed sweatshirt from TJ Maxx. Really cute. I'm now into blue all of a sudden, just trying to incorporate more color into my wardrobe. This was on clearance for $10, so thought that was cute. And it's like oversized, which is nice. Oh wait, another thing too. Oh my God, I forgot. I have to show you guys that itinerary too. I'm like a mess right now. I bought more pajamas because I just can't get enough. These are from Target. These are the best quality ever. They are these gray ones. It's like, I have a similar pair to this in pink, but 
These are just the best ever. So comfy. Just the shorts with the button down top. I love. Pajama sets are everything these days. Yeah, so that was like something that I ordered on Target. And then at TJ Maxx, I picked up this cute decorative bowl. I was thinking about putting it in the entryway table, but I don't know. I'll definitely find a place for it. And if I don't, I'll just use it as a bowl. Moving on to H&M. I was in H&M and I was walking out. And as I was walking out, I passed a sale rack and something caught my eye and it's this. So I've been looking for a long beige jacket forever. And I saw this sitting there on the clearance rack. I was like, wow, I need that. Even though I had already spent like half an hour in there, I had to get back in line. Here it is. I love it. It's long. I'm obsessed. So this was originally $49.99 and on sale for $25.99. The store associate that was checking me out, he said that this was a online return hence it being on sale so i'm so pumped about this it has pockets i just cannot wait to wear this to like go get coffee or something i don't know i just have so many outfit ideas with this i've been wanting a beige one forever so happy i also got these linen shorts so i told you guys i'm going to austin and i thought these would be cute just with like a black top or like even a white top super light and airy these were $17.99 so we'll see how those look and then another thing that I saw on the clearance rack so I don't really have any black blazers right now and oversized blazers are very in style so I picked this one up it's actually in a size extra large and I also got this one on sale for $20.99 this was another one the guy told me that this was a store return or a online return so that's that here's our itinerary i'll show you guys later but um okay i'm legitimately sweating right now that's all i'm trying this on and it's like way too big <laughs> it's just it's bad <laughs> okay that's getting returned this is my size so here it is love so cute Oh, just tried the shorts on. I'll show you what they look like. Here they are. I like that they're not super short. Has this cute little rope detail. I didn't tie it, but these are cute, comfy, cozy. Love this. These pajamas are next level. I love them. They're honestly the most comfortable, like stretchy, so soft. I'll show you. So these, again, like I sized down in an extra small for these. I actually did buy a small previously, but they were too big around my waist. But these are perfect. I'm going to be wearing these so much. I feel like I need to get a backup pair. <laughs> so when I get new clothes, I display them on this rack just to remind me where all my money is going. <laughs> so I also put this little bowl over here I don't even know if I'll put anything in here ever but I think it looks really good although this rug is kind of throwing me off and I might sell this and start over because this is like a whole black and white moment and I'm not sure this really matches anymore so yes I'm back and I did not shower but since it's Friday I do have more flexibility with working from home. So I end up running errands a lot on Friday. I'm always running errands, aren't I? But I think I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. And I have a bunch of stuff to return to H&M yet again. Leo and I are going to dinner tonight. We're going out for sushi. So that should be really fun. And then tomorrow, I'm just giving you a rundown of my weekend so you can expect something so then tomorrow i actually made an appointment to get botox and i think i'm gonna inquire about getting fillers so i'm not gonna go into detail where until i figure it out but that's that so i'm excited nervous no i'm not nervous but it's weird i just like want my forehead done so like whatever normally i'm like super natural with things but i really do think that preventative botox can really make a difference in the long run especially i am an aspiring milf so <laughs> yeah just that's why i'm doing it doctor that i'm going to she's also known for doing a very natural look which i'm very happy about almost every review that i've read on yelp and google 
Everyone said that she is very natural. She doesn't overdo it. If anything, she underdoes it, which that's what I want. So yeah, I'm getting that tomorrow morning. Sorry, I'm like, my eyes are so itchy. Is anyone else's allergies like so bad? But um, so I'm getting that done tomorrow. And then after that, I'm meeting up with one of my best friends. I haven't seen her in so long, but we're getting brunch together at a vegan Mexican place. So I'll definitely be filming that as well. It's gonna be great weather this weekend. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a good one. Mm -hmm.